Welcome back everyone. Apple just released a brand new feature for our iPhone 12 Pros that now supports ProRAW photos. And what ProRAW is basically a crazy video function or photo functionality, just a camera functionality in general that allows you to actually gain way more access from the photos and it actually preserves a lot more details in the photos itself. Now I will tell you a huge caveat, it does take up a lot more storage in those photos. So if you're somebody who only has like a 32, well if you have an iPhone 12 Pro, you probably have 128 gigs base. But if you're trying to save a lot of storage, this is not what you want to do. But to go ahead and start off, what you want to do is you want to open up your settings app, you'll come into a page like this, you want to go ahead and scroll down until you get into the option, typically towards the lower half, where it says camera. So it should be under photos, basically where your other apps are, it's right below that. Wherever you expect it to be, it's right below that. So you want to go and click on camera, you'll come into this little panel. Now once you're here, you'll see this little option at the top called formats. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on that, and you'll see a couple of different options, but you'll see this option at the very bottom that says Apple Pro Raw. Now right here, I'm going to go ahead and zoom in, and you can basically see what Pro Raw has inside of it. So it says show camera control for Pro Raw. Pro Raw is a 12-bit uh, yada 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 linear, linear DNG format. Basically, the ending was pretty much the thing that got me. I mean, this is approximately 25 megabytes, basically. I think a typical iPhone photo is like four or five megabytes, depending on the quality of the photo that you want. This is 25 megabytes, which is crazy. So this basically allows you to have the option to go ahead and do it. So we can go and enable it. We can go and hop out and go and make our way over to our camera. Now, once we do that and we're in our little photo camera thing right here, you'll see at the top right corner, you have a little raw option. Now, I don't know why they call it pro raw, it's so funny. But what we can do here is we can go and click on it right there. And now we have pro raw enabled. So when we click a photo, as you can see, it actually doesn't take that much more time. And now our photo is technically Apple pro raw. So we basically have a lot more information, a lot more quality in this photo. Now this photo is ugly, it doesn't look like anything. But if you're somebody who takes a lot of photos and you need the most amount of quality inside of a photo, this is exactly what you would use. You would use ProRAW. Again, I wouldn't recommend everyone using it, but if you know what you're doing, then by all means go for it. So that's exactly how to enable it. I'm going to go ahead and disable it right now. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well my Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.